that which you have laid in my heart, I want to bring it forth to your people. May it be an encouragement to someone. May it help someone's faith to grow. May someone leave this place, dear Father, having known the direction they are going because of your word. Use me as a vessel. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Speak the word of faith and see great results. Speak the word of faith and see great results. See, believing God is wonderful. Believing God is wonderful. And Jesus urges us to do one more thing. And that is to speak the word of faith. So believing God is wonderful. And you know the Bible says even the devil believe and they tremble. So believing the word of God and believing God is wonderful. But Jesus is trying to tell us to do one more thing. And that is to speak the word of faith. To verbalize what we are seeking from God. Because such a believer who understands the power of the spoken word of faith shall have whatsoever he saith. So speak for the word of God. Not only knowing and believing God, but we have to verbalize it. Verbalize it. What do I want to tell God to do for me? I will verbalize it in the name of the Lord. Verbalize it. In the gospel of Mark chapter 11 verse 22 to 23, the Bible says in the book of King, the King James Version, Having faith in God. Having faith in God. That's the last portion of verse number 22. 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Verse number 22, the last part ends by saying, have faith in God. And then it starts by saying, verse 23, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and thou shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. And from that passage, we see three foundation stones of faith. Three foundation stones of faith. Number one is to have faith in God. Verse number 22. Have faith in God. For faith in God and in his, the promises of God. Faith is in the Son of God. We will have faith in God, in his word. And faith in his Son, the Son of God. It is not faith in faith or to memorize some formulas that gets resort, but it is having faith in God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is having faith in God. Not a formula. I know a lot of us have a mistake of having formulas. Formulas. But you know formulas work for different people. Different, peop different things work for different people. Formulas, you know, work for different people. I know there are some of us, argumenting, which is a very powerful antibiotic, doesn't work to some of us. We have to get another antibiotic. Because those formulas, they don't work for you. It's not a wholesale thing. So faith, having faith in God is for all of us. But formulas, for example, dip yourself seven times into River Jordan. You cannot turn it into a religion because it was a formula for one person who needed, first of all, to believe God and bring his chair down and dip himself into the Jordan River for seven. And when he obeyed, the Bible says, his skin turned into a small baby. We cannot go to Jordan and start a ministry called International Jordan Baptism Water Revival Meetings and the Holy Ghost, you, whatever it is. So formulas, you cannot turn formulas into it. it is God. But the word of God is telling us to believe in who? Believe in God. Because he never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, 
and forever. So the first foundation is to believe in God. To believe in God. Can you ask your neighbor, do you believe in God? You don't need to wait for an answer. Just tell them, do you believe in God? The second foundation is believe that which you have believed. Put it in your heart. You believe in God, fine. Now believe that in your heart. Take that which you believe about God, the powerful creator, the powerful God, the one who spoke, let there be, and it was. Take that which you believe about him and put it in your heart in the name of the Lord. And thirdly, now say it with your mouth. Say what you believe. I hope you are following what I'm saying. I believe in God, fine. Demons also believe in God and they shake around. But I want to turn out my belief in God and the things that I declare I believe about God and put it in my heart. I believe that God is a healer. I believe that God will supply my needs according to his riches in glory. I believe in my heart. Then the final foundation, verbalize it. Speak it forth. Speak it forth. Let people hear you say it. Don't let the people at what you are doing in your Speak it forth. Say it. What do you believe about God? You believe God? Amen. Do you put it in your heart that God is a healer? Amen. Now verbalize it. Put it forth. Now that's why we are saying speak the word of faith and see great results. Believe in your heart and say with your mouth. Because believing God and his word is of great importance. But Jesus encourages us further to articulate and say aloud. Say it aloud. What are you believing God for? You see, if, if I open all of your mind right now, I will see great things. Oh, look at your neighbor. Man, your neighbor, you have no idea that your neighbor thinks of a helicopter. Oh, you have no idea your neighbor thinks about a Rolls Royce, a car that uh, we have no idea what it is. Your neighbor is thinking about Mothaiga, and you're just there with them. They are thinking about a new car, and you're just there with them. Now, surprise thing is that some of them would be your, it is your spouse, and you are with your spouse. And they are thinking of Runda. They have almost left you. Kudo Naishi. They have already left. Now, that is how we all think. But now, what I have thought in my heart, I need to verbalize it. I need to tell people, Runda, Runda, here I'm coming. In the name of the Lord. Oh man, look at, look at your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, it's like you're not believing what the bishop is saying. Now look at another one. Tell them, neighbor, uh, do you believe what bishop is saying? So I believe that God is awesome. I have that in my heart. Then I start declaring the awesomeness of that God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the book of John, 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15, the Bible says, this is the con confidence we have. At this is what? The confidence we have. Tell your neighbor, this is the confidence we have. We need confidence. The confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Now we can even stop there. That we have confidence. We believe in God. Amen. The devils do the same. Now push it a little further and say, I don't only believe in God, I also believe that when I ask him anything, according to his will, he hears me. Soak that in. So that verse number 15, it's summarizing and saying what you have already believed. He says now, if we know that he hears us, if we do what? We know what? He hears us. Then we know that we have what we have asked of him. Yani ukijua, ukisha. You know, I've, I've shared this in this chat and I've said, there was one time, and all of you have gone through it, when you get overwhelmed by school fees. Kabisa. School fees. <laughs> if you have not been overwhelmed, thank God. Si unajua na yoni formula. At one time I had three, three parallel or three 
parallel. And um, as a father, you know fathers, do you have a father next to you? Look at that father, tell them you are great men. Because very, very few fathers are not great. Many fathers are great. Ata yule na chimba mtaro. Akifika kwake. Eh. Mutoto anajua the most strong person ni baba yake. Mtu ambaye ana pesa nyingi ni baba yake. Mtu ambaye anaweza nunua anything ni baba yake. M- ni baba yake. Wakikua wakikua tindi wanaonaga baba yao. Sio vi. <laughs> so anyway, here I am with adult. They are all in the university. My wife and two children. And uh, Every time a week before they would open the school, all of them, in our prayer in the evening, I would ask, how much money do you want? And I would start with Alice. She would say she needs a hundred and something. Go to Elizabeth. Elizabeth needs a hundred and something. And then go to Daniel. He needs a hundred and something. Then we pray. And I would go and sleep soundly. I don't worry. You know why I don't worry? Because even if I worried, nothing. You know, you, there are some worries you worry when you are thinking, unauza kashamba. But there is nothing. Hamna? Sasa unawari nini? So I'll tell God about it. And I'll go to sleep. Now what God would do, that this is a formula you can use, eh? Although my formula might not work for you. The formula would be this. When I wake up in the morning, the Lord would tell me to call a few people, friends. And then I will call them. I will ask them, hey, so and so, do you have a hundred thousand shillings that you're not spending for the next three months? And I will get it. I will get it. I will borrow, beg, and everything. (laughs) Cooperative, top up, emergency, and everything. And all this. So that by the end of the year, no wonder when they finished university, one of them asked, si daddy sasa uko na pesa nyingi sana? And I asked, kwa nini? Sasa ulipi? Now, now I had to tell them. <laughs> Siripi lakini sina. <laughs> kwa sababu hata si kuwa nae. <laughs> but verbalize it. Verbalize. Say it. This is what I'm looking for. 300,000. I just verbalize it. So I, God gives me a wisdom. Call people that could have 30,000, 40,000, 50, 100, and they are not spending for the next three months. So that if they give you, now you start paying them. And you pay them, and you pay them, and you pay them. By the time you are just about to kufilisika, unaenda top up. Unalipa wa kwanza, and then unasimama tena. Eh, unapigia wegine, the other term. And walimaliza. Walimaliza. Si walimaliza. But the thing that I'm saying is that if we know our father hears us, the confidence we, we have is that he hears us. But then when we know he hears us, then we can verbalize it. We can't just say anything that comes to mind and expect God to come and, uh, and, 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 you know, and meet it, for example. And, and by the way, I said this in the first service, and my son helped me when we went for tea. Because I quoted, you cannot say, God, I want seven Royce, Royce cars. Royce, Royce. Saba. One for Monday. Another one for Tuesday. Another, because that is not the will of God. That is the will of the flesh. Then when we went, for break, he showed me a color singer in England who has seven. Nakila gari aki pereka ile kiremba yake inafanana na gari ya rangi. Saba. Even if you had all that, that is not the will of God. Ati nyumba saba. Runda. Karen. Mudaiga. Wapi kugino na pedaga? Kirireshua. Wapi kugine? Kitasuru. Wapi kugine? May the Lord take you to Kitasuru. Wapi kugine na figiria? Eh? Eh? Na? Aqua. May God give you a house in Aqua. Amen. 
what else? Ama hizo gari saba. Ni gari gani unapenda kuendesha sana? Eh? Mercedes. May it come to you. Ni gani unapenda ka? Mercedes. Kwa ni Mercedes diyo nyingi munapenda ka hapa? Ata hiyo rafo unapenda. May the Lord bring it to you. But the thing is, you don't need seven rafos. You need one. Because all what God is trying to do is to, mo- to put you, to make you mobile from one place to another. Now when there are seven, ni pride. Ati unaonaga aje hile gari yangu ya mande. Na ya Tuesday je. Ya Tuesday ni moto wakuotea mbali. Mande naenda na Mercedes. Tuesday naenda na Lexus. Wednesday naenda na May the Lord bring that to you. And now Thursday naenda na gani? Dio hiyo pasati. Na hiyo hiyo Friday naenda na gani? May the Lord give you that. But you know what? You don't need seven of those. You need only one. So, it is not everything that comes into my mind. Ati niwe na suti saba. Hili unao kiuliza watu. Uli niona na hile suti ya mandi? Because, actually, if you are a man and that is the way you behave, you will be amazed because we don't know you wore a suit on man. Actually, we even don't know the color you wore. Hili kwa rangi gani? Oh. <laughs> you know, the ladies would know the colors, the chaco that, the what in this, the green in this, and so on. But men, Black and white. Abusi mama mulwa. Ukiuliza wanaume umevaa gani wanasema hiyo ni gari ni nguo nyeusi. Amevaa nyeusi. Eh. Kaa chini hiyo ni nyeusi. Huyu ni mwanaume. Mwana <laughs> wanaume. Oh wanaume. Una mwanaume karibu na wewe? Wanaume. No wonder tunavaaga vitu zingine za ajabu na kweli. But the point that we are saying is that we, 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 not anything that comes into, my, into our mind. We can say with the faith, Lord, I believe that you are Jehovah Rapha. Because the word of God says he is Jehovah Rapha. We can declare he is our healer. We can pick that word. And the sick among us can confess that I believe that God is a healer. I believe that one in my heart. And then I confess it that the Lord is my healer. Can I hear an amen around here? Because God indeed is a healer. Speak it. Speak the word of faith in the name of the Lord. Because God has promised divine healing. We can say with the faith, Lord, through you I can defeat the devil. Not be defeated by him, but through you I can defeat the devil. Because there are many verses in the New Testament that talks about Jesus overcoming the devil. And we can believe that in our heart and confess it with our mouth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The three Hebrew children, they believe that God can deliver them. Because they had read about the deliverance of God. And they tell Nebuchadnezzar, Oh king, hear this. God will deliver us. Amen. Full stop. God will deliver us. But then they tell him, by the way, even if he doesn't, he will still be God. Now that is called faith. We speak it forth. We don't only hear, know about him, but we speak forth. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6, it starts towards the end of verse 5, because God has said, so we say with confidence. For God has said, so we say with confidence. When God has spoken on a subject, that helps us also to speak forth on that subject. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the book of Romans 10, verse 8 to 10. Verse 8 to 10. Now look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, the, the, the word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. And that is the word of faith. You see, the word is so near. It's near you, in your mouth, in your heart. The word of faith we are proclaiming. That if we confess with our mouth, that Jesus is the Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, but it is your mouth that confesses and you are saved. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So it's not only knowing about him, but I get to the level of confessing about him. 
The word salvation comes from a Greek word that is called soteria. Soteria simply means that God is able to save me, to heal me, to deliver me, to rescue me, to put me in safety. God is able. So when I know that, then I can declare that tonight I'm going to sleep well. Why? Because God gives sleep to his beloved. I'm going to proclaim that and I'm going to verbalize it. You know, um, I normally, I normally, I normally have a problem sleeping on a bed which is strange the first night. I don't know about you. Yani kitanda. You know ile umezoea, you know kausingizi kana kujagia pande gani. When you turn that way your neighbor knows hiyo <laughs> sasa. Bye bye, see you later. But when you go to a new bed, unajaribu na tumbo, unaangalia sky, unaenda upande huu, naenda upande huu. Unajaribu hata kwenda upande ule mwingine wa kitanda upande unakuta hakuna. But you know what I have discovered? Sometimes all what I need is to declare Lord, you give your beloved sleep. Not as on a strange bed or on their bed. Everywhere, even if it is on the floor. Now give me sleep. So sometimes when I declare that, when I have known Italian and declare it, in the morning I'm asked by the other bishop, Ulilala, because they know strange bed, hata iwe ni America. Ita kitanda ya America buwani. Na vitanda gine ya America inakuwaka na hita wakati wa baridi. Na, na bottle za maji kuna mingine inakuwa na nigondoro lakini imejaa maji kwa wakati wa baridi kama muhula huo unaisha unawekewa tu maji baridi moto huko ndahani eh? hata hiyo hiyo silali you know there are some of you ukiingia kwa ndege unalala mimi siwezi hata nikijaribu nafunga macho silali hata nikinywa dawa za kulala Ninakwambia ukweli silali kwa sababu nikiwa juu najiulizaga huku ni wapi hii kitu iko wapi na inafanya nini huku na ni muzito hivyo <laughs> so nikifika nafikaga niko na usigizi kali but on a strange bed even with that sleep the first night i don't sleep baka kweli nizoe kitanda ya kwingine but what I'm saying is that confess it, verbalize it. You see, it is, that's why we ask people to repeat the sinner's play, prayer. Because you believe it in your heart. Verbalize it. Go saying it. Tell people about it wherever you go. So if you are a sick, in our midst, believe God. That's okay. But verbalize it. Vocalize it. Articulate it. Speak it around. Don't just hold it in the inside with your mouth Confess faith in God unto healing. There is great power in the spoken word of faith. There is an article written of a pastor who was found with cancer. And the brothers that came near him said to him, pick three verses that speaks about healing. Talk about it. Sing about it. Everywhere you go, talk about it. Pray about it. Talk about it. Encourage yourself in the Lord about it. And he did that. And after three months, the Bible says, oh, not the Bible. The article said he got healed of his cancer. And he went to have a long, effective ministry. Why? The spoken word of faith. If you apply it, it works. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I don't know why I'm preaching this when uh, General is over here. General, can you stand? This General standing in this church, for us that know this man, what do we say? Miracle. Ati munazama nini? Miracle. Hii ni miracle. Yeah. You may get seated. The doctor that was treating him told him, he looks very no life in him. I have gone to see him. He has no life in him. He even told me a few things, you know. And I'm still alive. I'm tired. So they told him and said, Where is he? He. He. 
E. He. It's how many years now? 11 years. Now, bado, bado, bado. He goes back to the same doctari. What does he tell him? You, you are a miracle. So he tell others, if you want to see a miracle, go for, look for somebody called Bethuel. Bethuel Rukungu. It's a miracle. Why? Because of confession. We went to his house. We told him, this is what God is going to do. And God has done it. May God give you that faith to believe and start confessing it in the name of the Lord. I want people in this church to be confessors because they believe in God. God can do anything. There is nothing too hard for God. The problem is that you don't believe in him. And if you don't believe in him, you don't put it in your heart. And if you have it in their heart, you are embarrassed about it. Why? Suppose God does not do it. That is not your business. Your business is to say, God, before I die, I will live in Mothaiga. Iyo tu. Iyo tu. Atutaendesha Royce Royce. Iyo tu. Rafo. Iyo tu. Atutahama Zimaman. Iyo tu. You think God will have a problem with that? He doesn't have it. And he will bring it to pass, but you have to believe it and confess it. Doubt will come from your pocket. Doubt will come from your friends. Doubt will come from your neighbors. They look at you. At you miss money? At it? At it four. Where we? Oh, but skiri you see, it's like God has to give me a bicycle first, then tuk tuk, then to give me a car. It doesn't go that way. Some of you at in the natafuta nyumba, and then they ask, at a kaprot you konayo. Must God use that formula? I'm saying, God does not use formula. Formula. God uses His word. Ati mfuko auna. Kwa ni mfuko una nini? Si uachana na mfuko wako. Kwa chana na iyo mfuko wako. Anza kutangaza na ema zake mungu. Na ushindi utakuja kwako. Bwana asifiwe. I'm saying that because that is the, the direction the Lord is leading me. Hear his word. Believe in him. Put it in my heart. Start saying it. A few of you are my age mate. Age mate, ni watu wote tulizaliwa in the 50s. Hata kama we ni 59.9. We ni age mate. Eh? Usijari. Hebu ni kuambia vile tukua tukifanya. Ni vizuri kukuambia. Eh? 50 cents, ilikuwa ikinunua sukari, mafuta, chumvi, na vitu nyingi actually. So, eh? Na change bado. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. But you are not in the 50s. So somebody had told you. Somebody told him. You know, ni vizuri kujua huyu kijana hakuwa hiyo rika yangu. Sikuwa ni kimwesabu ni kisema. Now this is what used to happen to the shopkeepers. All shopkeepers were born again. It was like they were born again. Because we boys will be saying, na mama natuma mtoto wa meakatatu. Aende sokoni. Anunue sukari, chumbi, mafuta, kibiriti, na kathalika. Yani unafanyua kwanza mama anakuambia, ni nataku kutuma. Ati nataku kufanya nini? Kunituma. Unanituma nini mama? Nataku kutuma chumbi, sukari, mafuta, kibiriti. Chumbi, sukari, mafuta, kibiriti. Shube, sukari, maguta, kibiriti. Shube, sukari. And then, the, the, all mothers were good teachers. All mothers. Until you... You have sung it, then they send you. Now, lo and behold, you prayed in your heart that nobody will greet you along the way. Because once they greet you, it, the whole thing evaporates. And that will be war. But if you landed on a, on a counter, ya mwenye duka, uanguze 50 cents, yako, pa, alafu muambie, Chumvi, sukari, mafuta, kibiriti. Yeye ndi anamuaga sukari ni how much? Ya anakupimia. Chumvi, unajua chumvi ya ina nini cost. Ya ni anakupimia sukari, anaku, hivyo, alafu anakupatia. Na anakupa change. Na anakuambia hii change upereke mama. Lakini hii peremende. I don't know where they used to have peremende. Ama sukari nguru. Oh, I can hear some of you. 
uh, remembering those days eh ama sukari nguru nakatiwa kidogo alafu unaenda nyumbani that's why i'm saying they used to be born again hakuna trick mtoto anapewa ile sukari ya kawaida na imeweka karatasi ya kilo kama ni ile pound 2 pound 3 whatever pound it was kwa sababu kilo hazikuwa zimekuja unaenda nyumbani alafu mzazi anafurahi sana hiyo confession ndio ilikuwa ikikusaidia na nataka kutumia mfano huyo niseme wengine wetu shida ni wale wanao tusalimia njiani kuna watu wako njiani na tabia yao ni kukusalimia high five hey stop look at yourself yani hao ndio hao ndio watu wanatusumbua because I, my confession is all right but there is someone who is looking at my shoe who is looking at my dress Yesterday we we had a, a G12 and one of our pastors said this You go to hospital and you're witnessing about the faithfulness of God the provision of God how God supply how God is good Amen Alafu anajifungua ka blanket anakoangalia nywele kama ilikuwa imekaangwa vizuri na teremka na nguo ana teremka hata kiatu Akiona vumbi ya nje ni kama ilikosea njia ikakushika yani iko kwa nywele yako kwa uso kwa nguo anajifunika sababu anashindwa huyo Mungu unamletea ni hiyo vumbi unataka kutransfer kutoka nje umletee pale anakataa <laughs> are you hearing what i'm saying now those are people that are hindering that sick person to receive the healing of god and there are people along the way all their business is to ask you unaenda wapi chupe chukali na maguta kibiriti chupe chukali na maguta kemani wadi yako chupe chukali maguta kibiriti chupe chukali maguta kibiriti chupe because that's what is going to help you it is when you go on confessing and verbalizing and speaking about the goodness of the lord he is Jehovah Rapha he is going to heal me na nakuuliza umeenda daktari gani umeenda india umeenda south africa ume yani they are just confusing you keep on saying Jehovah Rapha he is my healer verbalize it are we having church today we verbalize vocalize it verbalize it say it say it Jesus said in John 6:63 The spirit gives life the flesh counts for nothing the words that i have spoken to you are spirit and they are life i ask is that true to you that the word that jesus has spoken are they spirit and are they life proverbs 18:21 this one we quote that the tongue has the power of life and death verbalize it verbalize it verbalize it jesus lived a full life and for 30 years before his holy spirit anointing at, at river jordan in matthew 3:16 there was nothing no miracles i like the stories that you can find in quran that he would make birds and breathe on the birds and they would fly hiyo ni uongo ukweli ni kwamba hakutenda muujiza alikuwa carpenter anapiga randa ya baba yake kukata na msumeno na kupiga randa eh akipata nafasi akienda hekaluni ana discuss lakini sio miracle ni ku discuss neno la Mungu but the bible if you read it after that at that anointing that this is my son in whom i'm well pleased and then it ends by saying hear ye him period wherever he spoke god came down and did miracles when he received the words of jesus in your mouth are still his words therefore they are still spirit and life You see the mouth tends to speak what is in the heart. So store the word of God into your heart. Let it overflow from your mouth. And there are some examples of the spoken word of faith coming from a faith-filled heart full of God's word. Like number 
I'm not going to go around afraid of you, devil. Because Jesus has given me authority to overcome all in the power of his name. There is no devil, no demon. I'm not going around afraid of you, devil. Because Jesus has given me authority to overcome all the power of the enemy. It's a confession that I can go confessing in the name of the Lord. The sickness or infirmity must go because Jesus himself took up our infirmities and carried our diseases. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I will not fear an untimely death because God's word says, I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. It is declaration, I believe it, I declare. I'm not going to struggle in poverty all my life. Why? Because God will meet all my needs according to his riches in glory. You fill your heart with the truth and the promises of God's word. Then speak them out. They will come forth with power and will bring great success as God counts success to your personal life and your ministry. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 2 Corinthians 4.13 It is written, I believed, therefore I have spoken. With that same spirit of faith, we also believe. Therefore, let us speak forth. Do you believe God's promises in the Bible? Speak them forth. Do you believe the words of Jesus, their spirit and life? Speak them forth. Speak it forth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The words of faith. Speak them forth. Do you believe in God? It's a foundation. We start by believing in God. Secondly, we believe in our heart. Then thirdly, we speak it forth. I don't know what you are believing God for you. And please hear me. Some of you in your faces is like, Bishop, I have believed this for a long time. You even know me. Please, I don't know you. I don't know you. If, if knowing you is to cause you not to have faith in God, to trust him more, I don't know you. I want that person who says, Bishop, you know I'm still believing this. Let's believe it together. I will speak it forth. Help me to speak it forth. Now I know you. I know people that have kept on pushing. You have kept on pushing. You have kept on pushing. Because one of these days the door will open wide for you. Don't give up. You've been unwell. Yes. You know it. Yes. But you also know that Jesus is a healer. Speak it forth. Don't allow people to stop you along the way. Go confessing that Jesus is my healer. By his stripes I'm, I'm healed. He will supply my needs according to his riches and glory. Keep on confessing. Keep on confessing. Nobody can take what is mine. Nobody can steal from me. Because God has secured me. I'm not cursable. Because Jesus has become a curse on my behalf. Confess it. Verbalize it. Now some of you need to start verbalizing. Wee nyumba na kuhama. Na wee nyumba na kuhama. Na hata watu wakija. Si uambia hivyo. Unawambia, by the way, hii nyumba na ihama. Usikubali wakuulize siku gani. Wambia, sitaki muniulize siku gani. Mimi ni mewambia ni nahama. Siku ni enu. Mimi nahama. Ya. Yeah. Hii gari na iacha. Na nunua ingine. Watakuuliza unanunua gari. Uambia, kwa ni gari ya ina diyo ina wafu. Mimi hii gari na iacha. Hii kazi na iacha. Ada unaenda wapi? Sasa unataka kujua kule ninaenda ama ni kazi ninaiacha. Hii kazi ninaiacha. Mimi nitakuwa promoted. Mimi nitakuwa promoted. Utakuwa promoted na kazi kwenu wewe ndio uh, general mdogo. Huyo mwingine ni general manager, wewe ni general manager mdogo. Yeah, yeah ataenda because mimi nitakuwa promoted. Why are you so concerned about with the position? If God says you will be promoted, he has ways of promoting you. If he has a way of healing me, he has ways of healing me. If it's provision, he has ways of providing for me. And I want us to declare forth, speak the word of faith. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to ask the ministry team if you can stand and face the congregation. We want to pray for you. We want to believe God for you. And what we want to do, you are the one who will tell us. Hiyo kitu umekuwa ukikonfess. Tunataka kukonfess pamoja na wewe. Amen. Do you believe it? Do you believe in God? 
Do you believe it in heart? In your heart, is it possible? Can you still get married at this age? If you believe it and you've been confessing it, come forth, we want to believe God with you. No child, yes. But you believe that God can give you a child? If you believe, come confessing. Let's go forth and receive it. Are you unwell? Do you believe God is a healer? If he's a healer, come forth. Declare it. Let somebody agree with you in the name of the Lord. There are some of us up there, ministry team up there, and some are down here. It's up to you. You know you believe in God? Fine. You believe in your heart? Fine. Have you been confessing it? We want to believe God with you and agree with you in that confession that you're making before the Lord. We don't have a whole of the afternoon. We have just a few minutes. Actually, if I can tell you, they have given me only 10 minutes for that. And I believe that miracles can take place in those 10 minutes in the name of Jesus. Miracle can take place in that 10 minutes in the name of Jesus. And I pray as you pray for them, just set them free, release them into receiving that miracle that God has laid for them in the name of the Lord. What are they confessing? They are confessing healing. May they receive it in the name of the Lord. What are they confessing? They are confessing provision. May the Lord release provision to them in the name of the Lord. Yes, God is here and he wants us to speak forth. Don't allow people to stop you on the way. Go on confessing that God will do it. You will not die until you see your miracle. Confess it, believe it, actualize it in the name of the Lord. I want to ask the rest of us to stand. Hallelujah. We'll have done this, all of us, but let's all stand. We want to receive our spiritual compass. Our spiritual compass is the one that gives us direction. And we will put some declarations up on the screen. And I want you to look at them. And we will say a few things in the name of the Lord. I want you to open your mouth and read them. Hallelujah. Let's read them together. I receive the name of the Lord as my strong tower. I run into it and I am saved. I receive the name of the Lord as my strong tower. I run into it and I am saved. Amen. I receive the word of the Lord as a lamp unto my feet. No darkness shall come my way throughout the remaining of the year in the name of the Lord. I receive the word of the Lord as the lamp unto my feet. No darkness shall come my way throughout the remaining of the year in the name of the Lord. Soak that one in. I receive faith in the Lord. Mountains shall crumble before me this year. I receive, I receive faith in the Lord. Mountains shall crumble before me this year, receive that. I receive the grace of the Lord. Therefore, special favor will come to me from the east, from the west, from the north, and from the south in Jesus' name. I receive the grace of the Lord. Therefore, special favor will come to me from the east, from the west, from the north, and from the south in Jesus' name. Receive that. I receive the presence of the Almighty God with me. At all times this year, therefore, Goliath will fall before me. I receive the Jericho war destroying power. Therefore, every stone of hindrance shall be rolled out of my way in Jesus' name. I receive the presence of the Almighty God with me at all times this year. Therefore, Goliath will fall before me. I receive the Jericho war destroying power. Therefore, every stone of hindrance shall be rolled out of my way. In Jesus' name. I receive patience. Therefore, I will not run ahead of God on every issue of my life in the name of the Lord. I receive patience. Therefore, I will not run ahead of God on every issue of my life in the name of Jesus. I receive wisdom from above. Therefore, I will manage my affairs as the Lord wants me. Let's do that again one more. I receive from wisdom from above. Therefore, I will manage my affairs as the Lord wants me to. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Are you ready for the final one? The final one says this. I confess, I proclaim, I declare, I believe. Let's do it again. I confess, I proclaim, I declare, I believe. Therefore, have I spoken. I confess, I proclaim, 
I declare, I believe, therefore have I spoken. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May the Lord release that blessing upon you in the name of Jesus. If you're not coming forward, just lift up your hands and keep praising God and thanking him and receiving the favor that is coming your way in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord.